That ball's moving, come on. What up, what up? We're here with the Baseball Bat Bros, and today we are back with Wood Bat Madness 1.0, episode 11. We got the B45 Birch versus one of the fan favorites for the whole thing, the Louisville Slugger, Cody Bellinger, CB35 Maple. Let's get it. All right, folks, here's our bracket. Only six bats left. Last time you saw the Sam Bat edge out the Phoenix Pro XR. That's going to face off against the MT27 Maple. That's a maple on maple matchup right there. And today, folks, only two matchups left. First, we're going to hit it off with the CB35 MLB Prime from Louisville Slugger. It's going to be like an uncut 243 maple. And then the B45 B13C. This is a wood bat company out of Canada that actually only makes birch bats. They specialize in yellow birch birch only this is pretty much going to be uncupped as well pretty similar barrel sizes but a really really thin handle and knob on the b45 here other than that pretty much just a standard maple versus birch showdown i will say this has been one of the most impressive maples in the tournament yeah three two one slugger and the B45 narrowly squeaked by the Stinger Birch. So I would say uh, the CB35 is probably gonna be a big fan favorite, but time will tell folks. Woodbat Madness, episode 11, let's get it. All right, folks, we're starting out here with the Louisville Slugger, Cody Ballinger signature, CB35 Maple. We're out here at Solid Community College again, 400 to center, 380 to the gaps, 335 down the lines. I will say, tough wind today. It is blowing pretty much straight in. But here we go, CB35, let's get it. Oh, yes. One of the loudest bats in the tournament, dude. Such good wood here. Boy. Single. I'd just like to give my two boys a shout out here for being so welcoming and great, having me swing some nice bats. What let's a go, going. let's go. She's a hoss for sure. Oh, that is way off the end. That buzzed me up pretty good, but dude, the fact that it doesn't break on a ball like that, that's really impressive. That's just about as worse of a miss hit as you can get. I know we're like 11 episodes in now and I've never announced what happens if a bat breaks because we only have one of each of these bats. So what I've decided, if a bat breaks, we're gonna replace it with what we feel like is the next most worthy bat of the same wood species. So like, if this breaks, we'd replace it probably with like the Tatis or something like that. We think about it more, but uh, no breaks so far. I'm hoping that continues. Ooh, that ball's moving, come on. Oh baby, see ya. It's going to be hard to beat this battle, I'll tell you that right now. Like, after swinging that bat, I can kind of believe like, oh yeah, that's what Cody Bellinger swings. Like, that was heavy, bro. And it doesn't even look that huge. It's just, you said the spine grain was super straight. Yeah. All right, folks. Now we got the contender, the B45 Birch. This is the B13C turn model. One of the skinniest handles and knobs you're ever gonna see on a wood bat. Just paper thin and a big, big heavy barrel. Definitely a very unloaded bat here. Let's see if it's got what it takes to knock off the fan favorite belly. All right, that's a good start. Yeah, that's a one, that ball was moving. That's a one hop. Oh, mama. Dude, it like surprised me. Oh, huh, that's pretty good. I know, that's what I said. Nice. It's 
good, man. Boy. Oh, no. Uh, <laughs> that oh. looks so hard at the end. <laughs> the wind just blew up. Uh. Uh, I don't know. That's... Woo. That is hammered. You see that nut? Peace. I'm smoking with this bat, dude. Okay. Feel pretty good with that, man. Damn. Feels good. All right. I need to do one more with each. This impressed, dude. This is actually good. Actually, a pretty thick handle on this one. Oh, that sound is a little different, boys. What? That's a good 390 shot. Let's go. Last chance. Come on, B45. What you got? That's on the hands a bit. Man, that a good travel though. That's they're they're both good bats. I think one is gooder, though. Ooh, man. Smoked. This is still a little, a little deceivingly heavy, honestly. Like, both pretty tough to get around. Definite power hitters bats, but that's one of the loudest bats in the tournament. All right, fellas, honestly closer than I thought. I went into this, if I'm being perfectly honest, I thought the Bellinger was just gonna run away with it. Dude, that was like surprisingly hot. Felt like great. that yeah. felt really good, man. So we will see. I actually really like the mix of guys we got today. We got myself and uh, I'm a self-declared, close your eyes, swing as hard as you can, power hitter. Uh, JT is like a perfect, like hybrid kind of power contact guy. And then we've got just a pure contact dude. Just like lefty David Eckstein, baby, let's go. <laughs> <laughs> so we had to go back and forth a little bit there, but do you guys have your votes? Yes, I do. All right, we're gonna go B45 or Slugger on three, two, one. Here we go. Okay. Three, two, one, B45. Slugger. Oh, taking the L. Let her rip, JT. Oh, no. You yanked her foul. I love, love the thin handle, but the overall feel of the slugger just can't beat it. Dude, you're capping, JT. I'm capping, JT. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so JT with his first ever Wood Bat Madness L, uh, but the Louisville slugger, Cody Bellinger, will be moving on. Um, really, I thought this was just a more moderate turn model. That B45 is pretty aggressive. How big of the barrel and how small and thin of the handle, it got pretty end loaded for me. You just had so much of the weight was way up here. Whereas this was a lot more thinned out. A lot more of the bat is kind of down here, a little bit more balanced out, but honestly still pretty heavy. This was just stiffer and hotter and like a harder bat, in my opinion, just a lot more juice off of it. Whereas that B45 JT, that's honestly an honorable vote. Like that's a pretty good vote. Really, really forgiving barrel, a lot more flex. You could get jammed or off the end and it would feel a lot better. You could get away with miss hits pretty well. But I found if you barreled it up with this, it was quite a bit hotter. Got to go with the belly, dude. This thing is hot. I hit some balls very, very far with this thing just all throughout the tournament so far. Uh-oh, sad boy. JT, I'm sorry, man. All right, this throwback to the Axe Bat video. It's not cool. Where Cam and I voted you out, bro. You hardly ever lose. Pissed. You're pissed? You guys don't even know why you picked it. Yeah, I do I know why I picked this. Well, I, li I like it because I felt. Because of the massive sweet spot, and the only reason you guys don't like it is because you're not used to the handle. Massive sweet spot and perfect end load is what makes this fat. And it's got some pop to it. Our first Bat Madness disagreement. You probably have the single best Bat Madness record. You always have people on your side, but today, man, why are you picking the losing bat, the B45 Birch? In my opinion, the B45 Birch, just the turn model itself felt way better in my hands. I love more end load feel of a bat, and that felt, it was heavy, but it felt more balanced. I really loved how I could feel the barrel all, all the way through the zone. Yeah, that thing's end loaded, hard. man. Yeah. And also, if I caught it off the end, it still traveled great. If I got jammed, I didn't break my hands. And if I got on a sweet spot, it still traveled amazing, yep. I thought at least. But 
I, I really like the birds from the SP45. Yeah, and I mean, dude, you love a bat that's end loaded and flexy. Like you liked the goods, you liked the meta power, and then show that knob. Like that's like bone saber knob, yeah. dude. Honestly, like again, that's really really similar to like a BB i13 HD mm -hmm. uh, turn model that you helped me create. Like mm -hmm. a lot of that was like your inspiration. So uh, makes sense, man. That, that's honestly a good choice. I just, I just think that belly might beat it in Exavilos, man. We'll have to see. All right, Zach. Congrats, bro. You're 1-0 in your Bat right Madness now. career. What'd you like about the Bellinger, man? They were both pretty heavy for a contact guy, but yeah. uh, you honestly hit pretty good with both. To start it off, I got to give the B45 credit. Coming in, I thought I was going to pick it. I'm a real thin handle guy. Yep. If I want grip on it, I usually just tape something to keep the bat that thin. Yep. But just swinging the belly, I just got a few crisp balls that I was like, wow, that's just a nice feel. So ended up sticking with it. Yeah, it's loud, bro. It's it's loud nice. sounds. All right, folks, there it is, the CB35 in what I honestly thought would be a sweep. Uh, the B45 snuck a vote in there, but the Louisville just made it out to the final four. So our three brands so far are Old Hickory, Sambat, and Louisville Slugger, and the B45, a valiant effort, will be going home. Dang, guys, freaking three maples in the final four no birch representation yet we're gonna have to see in the next episode if the american batsmith ts28 birch can make it happen against the marucci francisco lindor all right fellas we're most of the way through this thing keep hanging with us all the way until the ship but for now guys appreciate you guys hanging out today if you like the video we'd appreciate it if you drop a like subscribe to the channel and if you want to help support the bat bros and rep our merch you can always check out baseballbatbros.com we have some of like our top 20 bb core rankings over there as well thanks for hanging out y'all we'll see you next time peace